Don't do that again. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's give Manny uh, two claps. We ready? One, two. Nice work, Manny. <clears throat> All right. Nice job, bud. All right, Jacoby could drive, but he couldn't. Uh oh. One quick thing for Manny here. Oh, you're you're fixing a favorite mistake from our favorite mistake. That's right. He couldn't reach the pedals in mom's car. Uh Alex, I think I talked I was walking around and looking at some papers. Alex, what did we do with mom's car? Do you remember what we talked about? Absolutely. Okay. Why, and why would I do that? Can you remember? Do you remember why? Because it's saying that it to I love that, Alex. I love that. It's showing that it's mom's car. Okay. Do you want to come up and do that for us? Awesome. Yeah, so there's not like 20 moms sitting in the driveway. It's mom's car. It's not oh, so, mom, right? so, so yeah. I don't know. So we, we, let's see where the apostrophe goes here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just saying mom. All right. So yes, it's singular possessive, right? There we go. Let's give Alex two claps. Ready? One, two. How many people did that? How many people put an apostrophe after the M? Awesome job. Awesome. Liv, I love how you have your hand up. You've been waiting patiently. What do you got for us? Oh, I got a comma right after the word but. After or before? Oh, before. Yeah. Okay, that would work. I would accept that. that. I think you yeah. If you didn't do that, I think it works. I that. You did it. You put a comma there. Liv, go ahead. Go ahead and put it in front of butt. All right, let's give two Liv two claps. Ready? One, two. Awesome job, Liv. Miss Cronkleton, what do you think? All right, guys, so uh, just one thing. I love the way. Are we done? Oh, two class for Paige. Nice job, Paige. Sorry, I jumped ahead of myself. Guys, I love the way you guys came back from lunch today. You guys came in, you guys started right away. I know we've talked about that a little bit. When you guys do that, we can get through our bell ringer just quick, like we just did. I think we have a pretty fun activity for you guys today. So when we come in here and get started like that, we can get right to it, all right? Mr. Crompton, can you give us a click here? So what we're going to do today, you guys, up here on our uh, learning objective, it says students will demonstrate their understanding of writing conventions by fixing common mistakes. We kind of took our favorite mistake from a, our bell ringer, and Mr. Cronkleton and I threw, <laughs> threw some stuff together uh, on stations that we have seen in your guys' work throughout the school year, because the standard is pretty broad. It's asking us to... Um, you know, focus on those writing conventions in our writing, our speaking, and our listening. So today we're kind of working on it with our writing, all right? So what we have is seven stations around the classroom. We have done this in the past, so you guys kind of know what's going on. I got a vote. Do you guys want to use music as a timer or no? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, so music. You guys, I definitely think, can handle that. that your guys' behavior has shown that that's something that you can do, so you, I'm definitely up for that. Two things for that. It's not dance time. And second of all, we're not taking your requests. We are playing the music we want to play. For you guys, you can just gonna listen to the music. You're not gonna be back there giving us requests, okay? So make sure we're just enjoying it. If it's not your favorite song, it's kind of have to do it. Uh, Mr. Crompton, I do have some groups for you guys today that we would like to see you guys kind of demonstrate how to work together. I know you guys can work with friends, all right? You guys have shown us that. We want to see what happens if I put you with someone that I'm not with every day. Can you still work together? Can you still respect their opinion, work as a team? Those are th things that we want to see today. Um, but before we get to that, I just want to kind of just review one more time. When we are in our stations, we're, we're using music as a timer, we're letting you guys kind of float around the room, it can be easy to get off task a little bit. So what do you guys think would be an example of something that we would want to see during station time? Izzy. Us communicating with each other. With each, each other. So uh, I'm going to walk over here with Mr. Cronkleton. So basically, Manny, Manny, you're in our group. Manny, you're in our group. Go ahead and stand up. So if, we're, would be in our group. We think if we are communing, communicating with each other, we would have three people in our group looking at the station, all on task. Izzy, why is that important? Right. Got the dog or something? Yeah. Izzy, one more time a little louder. I'm sorry. Um, so you, so you know 
Absolutely. Say, uh, Mr. Kitzman, I didn't, I didn't understand the station. Uh, it's not something I'm very strong at. I can work with my peers, Manny and Mr. Crumpton, right now. Maybe they can kind of explain it to me. If I'm kind of rolling down the wall and going to check out my friends here in station three, I'm not going to be learning anything. Right? Awesome job. Liv, what? I want you guys talking. This is not a silent activity. Liv, thank you for having your hand raised. Um, while you're Thanks, communicating, man. you should have a good, like a good voice tone. Absolutely, okay, because this, I mean, it's a good-sized classroom. We shouldn't be yelling. If, if Mr. Cronkleton is working with the group at Station 7, he should not hear my group with Liv up here at Station 3, right? It's proper voice tone. Very good. Why, why would I not want that, Liv? So you don't distract with your work. Right. If I'm letting you guys listen to a little bit of music in the background to use as a timer, and we have seven groups going, if we're kind of talking over the music in other groups, it's going to be chaotic in here. So the, great job, Liv. I love that. Crystal. Um, another one that's kind of busy is like, <clears throat> if you don't like tell what you're thinking, then your idea probably won't. Like other people. Ooh, I love that. Yeah. Won't get so, so Crystal's kind of saying. Like, don't be afraid to share. Tell people what you're thinking. It might be wrong, it might be right, it just depends. And, and your group is gonna work together. If you don't say anything, we'll never know if you're right or wrong. So I love that, Crystal, nice job. I wanna kind of go off what she said of not saying anything. I think sometimes people think they're doing a really good job if they know the answers and they just walk up and fill out the answer <clears> sheet and don't say a word to anybody else. And they're like, I'm doing a good job because I'm getting my work done. Well, so the rest of the people in your group are like, how'd you get that? Or they're like, Right. Excellent. You've got to make sure you're communicating. Okay? We want you learning from each other. If you get it, be a, yeah, be answer. a leader. Yeah. Be a leader. Help out your 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 team. All right. Am I missing anything, Mr. Crompton? Mr. Crompton, can I jump in real quick? You guys, real quick. Eyes on me. Three. We call it. Two. One. I love this group. I just want to show you guys. What is this group doing well right now? Communicating. They're communicating. Are they all looking at the paper? Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Is one of them just wandering around talking to their friends in here? No. These guys are doing an awesome job. Way to go. Go ahead, guys. Sorry about that.